Lindiwe Mabuza. Thank you, Program Director. Your Excellency President Tabombeki, Minister of Arts and Culture and Sports, Honorable Natim Teto, MEC of Gauteng, the Dorothy Masuka family, fellow celebrants. I say celebrants rather than fellow mourners because we're really here to celebrate a great life. When I think of Dorothy, smile comes to my face because I didn't know Dorothy as a teenager, but she affected me in high school when this popular song, Hamba, Hamba, Nzogoloko and I wasn't known to be a singer then, nor am I known to be one now, but I sang my lungs out when that song came out. What was also unique is that I was known to be good in sports and in the classroom, but never on the dance floor. That song put me on the dance floor, and Dorothy made me popular in school as a, as a teenager. So that's my memory of this great lady. But I first met her personally in Zambia. It was at the Pamozi Hotel. Those who come from Zambia know the famous Pamozi. Well, I was invited by one of the comrades to a dinner hosted by some comrades from ZANU, the Zimbabwe People's, African People's Union of Joshua Nkomo as well as some ANC members. Uh, Zap, Z, Zapu, Zapu, sorry. Thank you for the correction. And we were there, and for the first time, I saw my heart throb, seeing Dorothy on stage in a hotel in Africa. I had been in America for years, and to come back home and hear this voice that enthralled me as a child in high school. The third scene, Kaifa Semenya and Leta decided they would like to make a contribution towards the struggle for our liberation. And of course, Oliver Tambo, our president, then welcomed the idea. They wanted to join South African artists who were based inside the country and those who were exiled outside the country. That was a novel idea. The artists are pointing out, don't forget me. No, I will not forget you. <laughs> so he put together a package of artists from inside the country, and the artists included Dorothy Nyembe. We went to several West African countries, Nigeria, Ghana, Burkina Faso, uh, we went to Senegal, Libya. and Libya, and ended up. You see? Yes, we went to all those countries. Can you imagine me? I was just a chief representative of the ANC, asked by the ANC to accompany the artists and introduce them to some people, some countries as a member of the ANC, who was known open in the public. And you can imagine what it was like to be in the company of these giants, the Sipok, Gumedes, the Banyum Kize, Tembam Kize, and the Kaifas and the Letters, and seeing them on stage together. You know, it just was something that was almost out of this world. Truly. And the next, last time was when I was posted in London. Dorothy used to come during her trips either from the United States or to the United States and stop in London. And she knew she had a home in our residence. And uh, one time we were in the bedroom, she sees my grandmother's photo. And she says, Ngubani Lolindi. I said, it's my grandmother. 
She said, but this looks like my family member. Umabani, Wagabani. I said, Umakumal. Ha! We are Zomapigwa. I think that's what she said, Mapigwa. Okumal. And she took a photo of that photograph of my grandmother. Next time she was in London, she comes back. She has a different photo. My grandmother is posted on a photo with another lady. They are identical. They're like identical twins. From there on, she said, She's been my sister since then. But the most memorable time, while she was in London, she said, you are observing the 10th anniversary of South Africa's democracy. You are inviting all these artists. What about women artists? I like the idea. And that's, that came from Dorothy Abigail. It wasn't my brilliant idea, it was hers. And I responded positively because I knew what a powerhouse she was bringing. The combination on stage in London of Dorothy Masuka, of Dolly Ratebe, of Abigail Gubega, of Tandi Klassen, and then they, she said, we must have a young one to carry the tradition, Yvonne Chaka Chaka. London was turned upside down. We just didn't have enough time or money to have more tours. But that's what Dorothy did. She, she really heightened the status of the mission in London as she had heightened the status of my mission as a chief representative before with the Boat tour. And because that war tour even ended up in Sweden. That's what I wanted to share with you, that she has been a, a remarkable, superior artist. Thanks uh, so much, Your Excellencies. Mama, Uh, now, can we have a representative?